Good morning, everyone. It's nice to see you again. It was my pleasure to, to, to spend an hour and a half yesterday with you, and uh, thank you for all the questions. Thank you for all the comments. Thank you for the feedback. It really means a lot to me, and hope we're going to do the same thing today during my practical presentation. Uh, for those uh, one of you who missed yesterday's presentation, we talked about the mo movement on the tennis court. We talked about the reaction. We talked about the acceleration. We talked about deceleration. We talked a lot about the split step, recovery step. And again, uh, thanks for all the, the comments and feedback. Uh, so as I said yesterday, yesterday's presentation was more or less just the theoretical part, the theoretical introduction. So I hope I didn't get too detailed into the theory because I'm a really practical guy. I work a lot on the court. So the, the, the idea was just to, you know, to share the, the, the general idea, the gen general concept on the movement and on the tennis court. And again, as I uh, commented yesterday during the, the panel discussion, the idea is not just you know, to, to, to go just specific, specific, specific. My comment and my you know, expression and my, my thoughts were like, just let's think about the quality of the movement. And let's not, not just think if we do something on the court with the racket in, in the hands that this is very specific and this is good for our uh, players. I showed some examples yesterday. I'll show some examples today. Yesterday, I, I don't know why I have problem with this, but just saw yesterday one example on the social media, you know, in the YouTube, you can see many things there. And I'll show you one example, typical example, you know, uh, with, you know, about the wrong movement, just, you know, being placed on the tennis court and, you know, the guy thinking, you know, this is tennis. It's not, and this is the general idea that I wanna uh, share with you today. So again, just a little bit about the concept. Uh, yesterday, we said, you know, when we talk about the agility, when we talk about the movement, the movement is not just something that's going on on the court, it's something that we can observe on the court, that's the movement, of course, but it's just one part of the movement. We shouldn't forget the cognitive component, that's the reaction, that's the stimulus, that's the light, that's the sound, something that triggers the movement of the player, and this is something that we should incorporate in our everyday practice in order to work on the tennis things, you know, in, in regards with the, with the movement. So again, you know, the cognitive component is more or less the reaction time and the anticipation, and then we move to the, and then we switch to the motor part. The, the motor part starts with the split step, then the acceleration, you know, the first step, reaction, uh, deceleration, and then recovery steps. So we're gonna show a lot of drills in regards with those areas, you know. So I'm gonna start with the reaction time, how we're gonna improve the reaction time on the tennis court, how to use the stimuli, how to use the lights, how to use the, the, the visual, the auditive stimuli. Then we're gonna go into the motor part. Yesterday we spent a lot on the split step, so I'll show you some examples, how to work on the split step, how to get this habit if we talk about the uh, under 14, under 12 uh, uh, years of age. I'm gonna show you some first step uh, drills that I'm uh, doing a lot with my tennis players. We're gonna spend a lot of time on the deceleration part because as I said yesterday, this is one of the major causes of the injuries, especially among the young players, because coaches, you know, spending too much time focusing just acceleration. But, you know, this is funny thing about tennis, and this is one of the specifics of tennis. We are talking about the speed, but at the same time, we are talking about how to stop. And this is this, you know, thing that, that you know, that's not happening, for example, in soccer, in handball, in other sports where we are talking here a lot about the stopping, you know, how to stop correctly. And uh, this is the thing, you know, this is what I said yesterday when I talked about the deceleration, you know, the, the, the timing of, you know, and the ability to stop is making a difference. And then finally, we're gonna go into the recovery steps and this is really important part of, of the, the whole story. So I don't wanna uh, uh, spend too much time. Uh, I just want to start with, with some things and hope the, the presenters are ready and since they just arrived we're gonna do some some um, some warm-up of course I'm not gonna go too much into the warm-up yesterday we heard our really great presentation of Balash about the warm-up and this is something just you know to to continue on this on this part because this is one presentation I gave uh, a, a, a couple months ago and I'm gonna start with the warm-up because you know it's a very very important part, and I really agree with uh, with the Balash yesterday. You know this is something that we should you know pay a lot emphasis on, and if we are talking about the movement, and my my topic is movement, 
we have to go into the good warm-up strategy because otherwise they are not going to use all the benefits of the movement and of the agility training. So here was the, 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 the thing that I share with the coaches uh, at during the, this course in Croatia. And this is the example of Marta Kostiuk, you know, this teenager star that is at the age of uh, 15, you know, being, you know, close to 100 in the world. But his, here's the logic. When I was preparing this, I was like, just these are the, just the average numbers, and don't, don't get me you know, wrong, this is not really uh, uh, precise, but let's just look at the example. So for example, during last year, being you know, in Zagreb, Marta did approximately 20 to 24 hours of tennis you know, during the week. She did like three to, four, uh, three to five, three to six hours of conditioning. She played around 80 matches, both junior and pro. So altogether, it's like more than 800 warm-up opportunities. You know, preparing for every practice, preparing for every match, preparing for every fitness practice. So let's say, in average, if she spends just like 10 minutes doing warm-up, which is not that much, it's around 8,000 minutes, which is around 140 hours during one year. Just spending warm-up for 10 minutes. So just to think, you know, how much time we have in front of us for the warm-up. So when we are thinking about the warm-up, and this is something that we should teach our, our, our children, our, our kids, our players, that you spend a lot of time here. So use this time. It's not just, you know, let's get some, you know, warm-up, we run, and then we do some stretching, and then let's go. No, there's a lot of time, you know. So we can use this, you know, this period, you know, for the recovery stuff, for the prevention stuff. We can teach them some movements. We can do a lot of things here. So just think about it. And, you know, more or less, what I presented there is this concept, more or less the same, like Bala said yesterday. So we start usually with, and we're going to do this today, we start with some aerobic stuff. Then we go with the tissue. Bala so showed you yesterday some examples. Then dynamic stretching, mobility, stability stuff. And then we finish with some tennis-specific stuff. This is more or less the logic. But this is the idea, because Yesterday, I didn't want to go in this part, but let's just think, you know, you know, the player has to be stable, has to have a good balance in order to move. So that's why during the warm-up, we can use this, you know, period of time, you know, just to, to, you know, to go in this area, to do a little stability stuff. I'll show you some examples. In order to move on side, and we said 80% of time, co uh, players are going side to side, so lateral agility, they need to have, you know, a good mobility of their hips. So again, we should go, you know, and do the mobility stuff during the warm-up. Because otherwise, you know, it's not going to happen. So in terms of warm-up and in terms of movement, that is my topic, the idea is, you know, some parts of the body needs to be stable, right? We know this theory, you know? So the feet has to be stable, knee has to be stable, lower part of my back has to be stable, shoulder, the back part should be stable in order to have a good balance. But then, in the other way around, some parts of the body needs to be mobile. So my ankle needs to be mobile if I want to change direction, right? So I have to work on this. Hips, again, so I have to open up. So the hips has to be mobile. I have to rotate a lot. So my upper, you know, my middle part of, of uh, the spine should be really mobile, and shoulder, of course. So this is something that we can work on during the preparation for the movement. So I'm not going to go into the details because yesterday you had this, uh, this, uh, this lecture, but since my players, and I would like to invite them, are not ready yet because it's cold outside and they just arrived. Hello, my Nersha. name is Da. What's your name? Nersha. Nersha? Yes. yes. Esther, okay. Mersha and Esther, please welcome them. Uh, they are going, to, they are going to, to help me today with my presentation. So in terms of, of this topic, I'm not going to go into the details of warm-up, but let's just start with some easy stuff. More or less, it's going to be, uh, more or less it's gonna be the aerobic part. So I would like to invite them into the middle of the court. Usually, this is something I do with my players, also with uh, the pro. So let's say, last two weeks with Marta, 80% time we did this kind of warm-up. So what I hate, you know, in terms of warm-up, this is just my opinion, sorry about that, 
but it's just, you know, I see many players, okay, warm up, go around the court. And then I'm like 10 minutes or five minutes, they are running around the court. Okay, the idea is, you know, to get warmer, to get ready. And okay, it's good stuff, but it's, first of all, it's boring. And the second thing, it's not, again, very specific. So what we're gonna do here, we just, can you understand me? Is all okay? If I need to explain something, just let me know, okay? Uh, so we're gonna just move here, but this, just this area. So don't go outside, easy stuff. It's not gonna be tough, but we just move around. So anyway, you'll just go. You just move like this. You can start like me, just run around. So it's not necessary to go around. You just change direction. Yeah, for a minute or two. So, okay, just start, you know. So here we have simple thing, but if we are preparing them for the movement stuff, here, okay, slow pace, low intensity, but I'm changing direction, okay? I'm changing direction. We have three here, so we want to, you know, not to, not to, to hit each other, so we just move, and here you can play with a different stuff. So, what we're gonna do here, you just continue running, we're gonna add some side steps. So you just move and you go here. You just move. So again, we have stop and go. We try not to hit each other. Yes, good, good. You move. Okay, change. So we go something like this. Okay, so we can add different exercises. Okay, so I can add some dynamic stretching. Yesterday, Bala sh showed some different stuff on the movement. So we are just getting ready, okay? So what I'm trying here, you just move, okay, continue running. I'm just trying, you know, to put them in the right situation. I want to see the good movement. Okay, so we go backwards running. What I usually do here, I put some rhythm because tennis is rhythmical sport. Movement is all about the rhythm. So then you just run, you just run normally, like at the beginning, and you repeat my claps, okay? So when I go bam, bam, you run and you repeat bam, bam at the same time, okay? <sighs> Ready? Okay. Not with the hands, you, so you just, con you, you do the same, okay? I'm running with you. You go, you go, you go, you go, you go, you go. So you just repeat. Okay, you continue running, we go the same, but you try, you go just run, 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 you don't stop, okay? So what we're gonna do here, we had the same rhythm, but instead of clapping, you try to repeat with your foot, okay? So working with your legs, okay, with your feet, okay, let's try. Pa, 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 pa. Good. Okay. Now I want you to do the same, but instead of doing this and repeating, you know, skipping, I want you to do this. Okay? Like split step. Okay? The same thing. Ta 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 ta. Bam 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 bam. Bam 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 bam. Okay. So, a little stop, okay, breathe a little bit. Okay, so I'm preparing them, they are getting ready. Of course, I'm gonna go into the details here. If I want the narrow stance was good, you go a little bit wide and things like that. So we're gonna go a lot today about this, the quality of the movement. So it's gonna be always here, okay? Since we are going to talk about the reaction, let's add something and the variations are endless. So you just put this behind like this, on side. 
so we go all together because it's the reaction so we can make it like complicated we can have endless combinations here so easy we go we move a little bit faster now but the idea is to to take this from outside okay let's see so you have to be careful let's try this big court i mean big court this part if not we go a little bit closer okay so but e everyone can catch so you can do it here so i have to be Okay, now we can do another thing. Take one ball. So it's still the warm up, but we had some different variations. So you just go with the ball, this area, you just bounce the ball, bounce the ball. Bounce the ball, you just move change direction and let's try the same the idea is to put the ball there and control my ball let's see let's see come on Esther come back guys you are not playing against me we are ah. okay you continue, take the ball. So what we can add here? Remember the, you go, you bounce. Sorry. We can add some dynamic stretching here. So you move, you go here, go, just move. Okay, here. So we had different exercises on dynamic stretching. Now, a little bit less intensity, we go mobility. So we move like this, okay? We move side, side, we rotate and we move. Stay wide, good. Some side steps, side steps, rotate, side steps, rotate. So we can add stuff like this. We can go balance. So you just bounce the ball, bounce the ball. When I clap, you stay stable. Okay, go. Go, 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 go. Hop. Okay, catch the ball, go again. Hop. Okay, go again. Okay, now you go the same, you bounce, you bounce, I clap, you stay one leg. Hop. Stay, okay, go, come in, switch the leg, hop. Okay, try to react faster, go, hop. Stay, 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 I want you to stay, go, hop. Okay, one more. You hit the ball, you jump, you land. You go, you stop, you jump, you land. Come on. So, some stability. Hop. Jump, land. Jump, one foot, go up, hop. Good. Come on, let's do it more rhythmical. You go up, up, jump. Good. Okay. Now we can add two of them we go specific they can hit each other like forehand backhand so different stuff so we can in 10 minutes we can incorporate a different stuff for the more warm-up preparing them you know for the movement session but we go all the warm-up so we have some uh, aerobic part we have some stretching we have some mobility stuff we have stability stuff we have some specific stuff and we are ready to go. Okay? You are ready? Yeah. Okay, leave the ball in the basket. I think 
we should put it because you don't see or you see maybe let's not to move Esther, please take those two let's put it here because you don't see here is example I saw yesterday okay Esther you can go first just to show you what I mean by quality movement and let's just not pretend that everything what we do is tennis specific you can go my one one Esther first and then you go so the idea here this is what I saw yesterday and look the movement so guys you go jump over the hurdle you move side steps hit back end you jump you go side forehand you jump you hit you jump you hit let's see this Esther okay so you just jump you go side steps there you hit you just imitate the back and shot okay you have a racket okay but maybe we don't need it now so it's just like jump back and jump forehand jump back and jump forehand okay side steps yeah go side steps only side steps so what you can see here good drill or no it's good every drill is good but what I mean by don't you know think about the movement so first of all jump and stay first of all I think it's not good movement second thing Bam. we move this way on the court we go this yes or no you are the coaches no so when we go we go there we don't side we don't have side steps to get ready to the ball maybe some small percentage of time but this exercise for them you know we want to teach them the movement and this is not good movement I'm not saying against doing different stuff lunges you know front lunges side lunges resistance yes okay we are working on the lower body but don't go this way if this is not tennis specific rather do something else the same goal the same thing but opa, doing just this not good okay reaction we are ready so let's do some stuff on the reaction you can come over here so easy stuff we said when we talk about the reaction that the very important thing would be to go no stimulus stimuli and then to add more and more so let's say they are ready to start with a single stimuli so we just go the color so what you're gonna do here you say I say the color you react so you are just you don't need to go down you just pretend the colors are here so if I go blue hop, as fast as possible okay come closer so one example not moving much just reaction so this could be like something that we can add to our warm-up okay the colors are here and we go green yes white blue red blue okay I want you faster react okay stay so we go white blue green blue 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 red focus okay we can go slower and we increase the speed okay get ready so I want him to be in a ready position could be this you know the lights this VT system it's very popular now in sports so you have the lights the same here and then you go hop 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 but I want him to be low wide front foot okay here Bam. we go slow blue blue white green blue red blue blue think okay one more blue blue white so I add 
One extra. We can change a little bit. So as to go. Colors. We go one, two, three, four. So this is one, this is two, this is three, this is four. The same thing. Okay? Get ready. In the middle. So you can you go left arm. One, two, three, four. This. Okay? Arm. Okay. Get ready. We go one. Faster. Okay? Come on. One. One. Two. One. One. Three. Two. Okay? Fast. Come on. Focus. Okay, we go. One. Four. One. Four. 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 Two. One. One. Two. Three. 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 <laughs> three. Here. <laughs> okay? Okay, that's okay. That's okay. So we are trying, you know, to get there. That's okay. No problem. So we need, again, faster. A little bit faster. Okay? So I'm going to go one. You go here. As fast as possible. Try like you touch it. Okay? We go. Three. One. One. Two. One. Two. Three. One. Four. Four. Two. Much better. Good. So endless combinations. We can go A, B, C, D. Just a couple of them. Okay? A, B, C, D. Come closer. So we go B, B, A, C, four. So we can add. Now let's go number and the color. So number and the color. Blue, white, red, green. One, two, three, four. So we make it more complicated. Okay, get ready. So we go green, green. One, blue, one, four, green. Okay, again, again, okay, go, 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 go. One, blue, one, four, green. Okay. Yes, sir, you can come over here. So now we can go color, we can go number, we can go, you know, the letter, we can make it more complicated. I, you know, I think you got the point. So what we can do here, because I want, you know, to activate, you know, the reaction time. So let's do the same, very simple. So you go the same, but with the leg. So you just stay, you go blue, blue, green, red, okay? So let's try to put the signal down, okay? Not just the upper body. Good position, so we go the colors, okay? Red, red. Red, white, blue, green, blue. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Try not to go here. You just react. So you stop. I wait for you, okay? So when you finish, you come back. That's okay, okay? Ready? You go white. That's good. Blue, blue, red, red. Yes, blue, blue, white. This one, okay? White, white, blue, green. That one. Okay, good. But very good. Okay? So, we go, you know, we, comp we do more compli complicated stuff. So, it's more or less, yes, it's reaction time. But obviously, for Esther, it's also coordination stuff. So, yes, we work on this. You remember 140 hours per year doing warm up? Why we should not spend like three, four minutes doing just this? You know, arms, foot combinations. Okay? So we change. So we go a little bit more tennis specific. So it's not this. I'm not reacting like this. I'm not reacting like this. So go a little bit there. Let's say you touch the white line. You go wide. No, no, a little bit closer. Yeah, you go wide and low. Let's go the same, but I want you blue, white. Hop. So I want him to move a little bit more. Okay? So react and go for it. React. Explode. Blue, blue, yes, white. Okay, think. Okay, get ready. Okay, let's go again. White, yes, blue, red, red, blue, green, green. Good, okay, let's change. Very good stuff. Okay, it's getting better, Esther. Now, we go here. So the same, but now we are going more specific. So you are trying to get ready. You are trying to get ready. Blue, hop. Stop. Come back. I'll wait for you. Okay? 
So with Esther, we don't want to go too fast. We want her to be, you know, doing the, the stuff, you know, quality work, quality movement. So Esther, you are ready? Come on, you can do it. Yes, this is good. And then we go blue. Yes, blue. White. Yes, white. Green. Yes, green. Blue. Yes, blue. Blue. Okay, so don't get confused, okay? You are good, you are good. So we are just doing different stuff. Okay, uh, I think you got the point. So we can do it like differently. We go arms, we go split step, we go reaction. We can go a little bit more wider. Now we go hop. We go with more specific stuff. We go more specific stuff, open stance, close stance, close stance. We can do different stuff. Maybe we can show this one. So let's just stick here. So the same split step. We go color. You go hop, close stance, hop, hop, hop. Okay, ready? Go up, 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 up. Blue. Come on. Yes. White. Yes. Come on. Blue. Faster. Come on. Green. Yes. White. No, this is not white. Come on. Go, 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 go. Blue. Yes. Finish the, the stroke. White. Yes. White. Blue. Yes. Come on. Blue. Come on. Blue. Okay. Now, this was the sound stimuli, right? So sound stimuli could be color, letter, number, combination, one stimuli, two, three, four, five, etc. But we said yesterday, tennis is more visual, okay? So Esther, please, and don't get confused. Go there. The same, okay? You are ready? Guys, I'm more sweating than you are. What's going on here? It's always the same. Come on. Esther, the same. You just go a little bit there. I stay here. So the same. You see blue, white, red, green. You go for it. Close stance. You see and you react. So remember yesterday. It's going to be a little slower, but let's see how it goes. Okay? So it's here. Everything is here. You just go, you bounce, you bounce, and you try to see as fast as possible you react. Okay? Ready? Hop. Okay. Hop. Okay. Bounce, 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 hop. Okay. Bounce, 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 hop. Bounce, 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 hop. Bounce, 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 hop. Bounce, 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 hop. Okay. Good. Change. So, what you can see here, okay, it was like, she was doing open stance, that's okay. But you see, probably we should spend a little bit more time doing the simple stuff. Because you see, it was like a little bit too loud. It was not on the foot. So we try, you know, to go step back. So we go simple stuff. You know, we don't rush too much here because it's not just reaction. It's the quality always, the quality of the movement. So we want to have the quality of the movement in the first place. So here is the same, but I'm going to mix the car. So it's not going to be like, so you see, it's like completely opposite. So if I go here, you go there. OK, so it's a little complicated, but I think you can do it. OK, we go close stance. So don't rush. So let's go. When you finish the stroke, you come back, you wait. I wait for you. OK, ready? And then hop. Yes, come on. Try to go fast, fast, hop. Go, come on, now we go a little bit faster, hop, go, yes, reaction, come on, go, hop, yes, come on, go, hop, yes, come on, go, hop, yes, go, 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 hop, yes, go, hop, yes, and then go this one. No, it's there, it's the red one. Okay, but they are doing a good job here. So the idea is just to go like this. So uh, in terms of the movement and in terms of doing the right stuff, so I just put here a little letters to show you the thing until we go on with the reaction. So here's one mistake I did a lot with, with Donna Vekic for many years. I can you know, uh, confirm this because 
in my head and in the literature, it was like a lot of, you know, frequency, that's the benefit for the movement. But, you know, and then I was doing a lot of stuff like you can do just stepping over the, the ladders. So you just go through the ladders. You just run skipping, okay? So you just go. You just go. Okay? You just go. Well, you repeat one more time. So this is common thing, and this is good, you know, the technique of movement, you know, the foot placement, working with the arms. But you know what happened? I was doing this for many years. And you know what happened? She was like doing at the baseline like this. And I don't want to, to have something like this. This is what I want, okay? So just the idea. Again, I'm not saying this is wrong. You should use it to teach the kids, you know, the movement, the structure, you know, the foot placement, the arm progression. But the thing is, again, if you can add some variations like being wide, wide, being wide, 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 this could be much better. Or some combinations like you can go, I think ba 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 yesterday showed, this is it, Hop. this is good, this is good. We can use this as a, rec a recovery step, go just, Opposite foot inside, so cross step, you go just inside, you just go inside. So this could be a better specific drill. You go back, you go back. This could be more, okay, so, okay, it's more or less. You go, 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 you go. Come on, try. This is more specific, and if we go into the details, I want her, Esther, I want you to be, you go crossover step, I want you to be wide. So when you go, you go inside and you stay wide. This could be, come on, more specific thing. So, of course, you do a different stuff here on the movement, but if possible, try to think what's tennis specific. Okay, let's move on. Let's put this a little bit on side. So let's do a little bit more of the reaction. I think we don't need this anymore, or we don't need it at the moment. So good stuff here in terms of movement. We can go this way. So I don't know if you want first, you can start. So we just go reaction. This was like a simple thing, but let's do more reaction, but tennis specific. So we can add the racket here, but you got the point. So it's the same thing. You just react on the color. So very simple, side, forehand, backhand, okay? When you see, you just go there. You don't need to hit, you just move, okay? You try to touch the cone, okay? You try to touch the cone, very simple. So, again, you bounce, if possible, you bounce, and you go hop, okay, okay, bounce, hop, yes, hop, come on, bounce, hop, okay, good, hop, go, yes, okay, hop, okay, simple drill, I'm sure you are doing this, this one, but again, I was talking a lot on the movement, on the quality of the movement, so, what I don't want here, okay, I'm working on the reaction, but still, this is very important part of the movement, so, you see, very good reaction. She was doing the crossover step, good. She was doing, because it's close, side step, this is good. But let's do this. This is one tip. I'm using this and I think it's quite useful. So instead of touching the cone like this, okay? Because this is, again, I'm just trying to, you know, to get you thinking about the movement Yes, it's good, reaction, yes, it's good movement, yes. But again, I don't want to have my player here. Not playing like this, I want this. So what, what I'm gonna do here, what I'm gonna change here, one little thing. Opposite arm, very good. So instead of touching here, I want you to go a little bit, hop, more there and touch the cone, okay? Let's go without the reaction, you just show. So you go side, bounce, 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 go wide, 
go there, come on, hop, come on, come back, bounce, bounce, go there, hop, this is better, so here, it's very good, let's see here, reaction, okay, bounce, go wide, very simple, there right, there blue, hop, yes, go, reaction, bounce, 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 hop, go, yes, come on, bounce, 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 hop, go, yes, come on, go, 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 hop, very good, okay, when I'm doing this, I don't, unfortunately, we don't have the cones like this, so that will be even better option for this drill, because if the cone is here, it's going to be like perfect position. So here again, sometimes they do this, but okay, I think you got the point. So again, we can do it more complicated. So let's say we add one more. 80% of time they go side, 30% we said yesterday, they go forward. You can do it now. So we go three kinds of movements, okay? So here, again, not here, okay? Let's see, come on, do it, do it, come on, hop, go, yes, yes, good, come on, hop, yes, touch, good, come on, hop, yes, reaction, go back, hop, tap, yes. I like the movement, you see, good. This is good, Esther, come on, you can do it, come on. Maximum focus, okay, this is good. I see it in your eyes that you are ready, yes. Come on, reaction, hop, yes. Go back, bounce, 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 bounce. Go there, hop, okay, inside. So instead of going outside, so you just touch, when you go back inside, you touch with your right, okay? Let's try, so you go blue, hop, you go blue, hop, yes. Come on, you go blue, okay? So, use first step, fast there, okay? You can use crossover step, you can go lateral, but try to go as fast as possible. Really good, hop, yes, good, hop, yes, nice, come on, go again, and then, and then, what, what's next? Go back, go back, go back, okay. So, the idea, but again, don't rush too much. So, here, we're gonna pay attention a lot when working with Esther, on the stance, that's something, you know, when, what we start with, so it's here. And then, from there, we don't want her to lose the balance. We want her to be in a perfect balance, we want her to be like front foot, so we're gonna work on this. Now we don't have time, but just to you to think about it. Okay, uh, you can do this with a racket, without a racket, I think not necessary to go into the details. Um, okay, now we can add some balls, we can go next. So, remember yesterday, yes, now I'm going reaction time. This is what Bala sh so, uh, showed yesterday correctly. So you just react for the ball. I'm doing this a lot during the warm up. So just, you know, go for the ball, just go for the ball, you go side, you just go, okay? We go here, we go here, we go here. Okay, you go left and right. Okay, good. Warm up, excellent. We go up, okay? You catch, you catch, hop, you catch, you catch. Come on! Okay, very good. Now, we do combinations. You go left and right, left and right, but could be bounce, no bounce. Okay, so you go, you go, hop, you go, hop, you go up, you go up, you go up, you bounce. Up, yes, bounce, up, up, bounce, up. Okay, very good. Now you don't know where the ball goes, okay? So it could be like bounce, no bounce, left and right, you don't know, okay? But you try to be as reactive as possible, okay? Ready, yes, go, hop, yes, hop, hop, hop. Come on, go, go, faster, faster, come on, go, hop. Yes, good, very good, okay? So we can do combinations, but again, the topic is not split step, but why not? Add a little bit here. Just be here, be here, be ready. You don't skip, you just bounce. Wide, wide. You don't know what's happening. Come on, hop, yes, bounce. Sorry, my fault, my fault. Come on, sorry, come on. We go, hop, stay wide, stay wide. Go low, go low, go low, hop, bounce. Yes, up, up, come on, focus. Go, 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 hop, yes. Excellent. Very good, maestro. Uh, there's the little ball. Could you please give me the yellow ball? So, Esther, you ready? 
Come on. You can do it. So you take the ball. So the thing is, especially when working with the young kids, we try, you know, to go into the coordination stuff. Yes, it's reaction. Yes, it's tennis movement. But it's a lot of coordination here. So we can go more and more, you know, complicated. But the thing is that we have to keep the quality. So we are now, you know, a little bit rushing because I want you to give you the ideas. But the idea is the following. So it was side, left and right, no bounce, with bounce, then randomly, no bounce, bounce. He doesn't know where ball uh, is going. Now we're going to add the ball, for example. Could be the racket, could be anything. So you go here. So you catch the ball. It's going to bounce. So it's going to bounce left and right. But when you catch the ball here, the little ball is in your opposite arm. So you just change. So we are having something in our hands here. So we go just Y and here. Yes, yes. So we go slow. Yes, we go slow. We go slow. She's very good here. OK. Now it's no bounce. OK. So just a little bit split step. You go here, up, up. OK. Now I can go a little faster. Yes. Come on. Yes. Very good, Esther. OK. You don't know no, now what's going to happen. Take the racket in, in the meantime. Just take your racket. OK. You, know, you don't know what's going to happen now. OK. Go, 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 go. Hop. Hop. Yes. Come on. Hop. Yes. Hop. Up. Up. Yes. Up. Yes. Hop. Yes. Hop. OK. Too fast. A little bit more. Come on. OK. Go. Take the racket. Esther, thank you very much. OK. Maybe we change a little bit. Just, ah, you have your racket. OK. So it's the same with the racket in your hand. Go. Go. Here. Bounce. Hop. No, no, no. You change. Yes. OK. Bam. Yes. Hop. OK. Think, 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 think. It's here. You see, they have. It's easier with the ball because they don't think about the racket. But now it's intention to play. But I don't want you to play. You just go and react. OK? Ready? Hop. We go slow. OK? Ready? Ready? Yes. OK. Bounce. 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 Hop. Yes. Come on. Bounce. Hop. Yes. No. Come on. Go. Ready? This is OK. This is coordination stuff. OK. Go. It's going to be slow. Yes. Slow. Yes. Slow, come on, a little faster. Come on, hop on, come on, hop, come on, hop. Yes, yes, good. Come on, Esther, try you. Very good, now you, you get it. No ball. Come on, bounce, 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 bounce. Here, hop, yes, come on, bounce, 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 hop. Yes, come on, stay wide, stay wide, hop. Yes, come on, go, Esther, go, hop. Yes, come on, faster, come on, go, hop. Yes, yes, come on, yes, hop, yes. Good. Very good. So what we're going to do now, you can come over here. Let's stay here so we can have the lines. So let's do so we can go like, you know, as complicated as we want. But what we're going to do here, you have the same random throwing, catching with the opposite arm of your racket. But then we can add to this visual because we are now progressing, we had the multiple signals. So the, that means that if I show there, you move like the exercise before, you go outside of the white corridor. OK? It's OK? So when I go there, what you're going to do? OK. But you, you exit the court. OK? Ready? So it's here. It's here. Ready? So we go. OK? We go simple. Hop. Come on, think about it. Think, think, think. Sorry, my fault. Sorry, give me, give me the ball. Come on, bounce. Now, here, fast, hop, yes, hop, go there. Yes, touch, bounce, 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 hop, yes, change, hop, yes, hop, go there. Hop, yes, hop, yes, come on, hop, yes, hop, go there. Fa fantastic. Good, good movement, man. Esther. The same. But we have one extra. So just yeah, move the box. So you come here, you go side, but you also go back. And you also catch the ball. It's very complicated, okay? But let's try. Let's try how we can do it. And you can do it. Come on. 
Come on, very good, go there. Hop, yes, catch, catch, hop, yes. Give me the ball, give me the ball, come on, catch, go there. Yes, catch, hop, go there. Good. So, again, fancy drill, good drill, like so many colors, like throwing the ball, like screaming, wow. IMG style. <coughs> but I want the quality. So, was good, was good, was good. But this one, Esther, not good. So how are you going to move back? How you run for the ball? Like this? Try to show me. You can join the discussion. How you go back? It's good. This one, good. This one, good. But how you go back? Front sprint, good. Show me. This ball, this is the ball. Hold. Uh-huh. You see? What was he doing? So instead of running this way, he rotates a little bit, and it's again the side step. I watch the ball, I go back. Louis Kair would say, you rotate completely, and then you run. Okay, could be also the option, but let's focus now on the rotation. So let's try here. And then after you think about it, you're going show to show me again. Here, here, man. Yes, come on, go. Yes, come on, catch the ball. Catch the ball. Come on, you can do it. Go there. Hop. Yes, come on, hop, go there. Yes, catch, yes, hop, yes, come on, hop, good. Come on, Esther. Ready? Hop. Good, come on, go, go, yes, and catch, yes, and catch, and go. Much better, much better. Want you to be wide always. Good, just the idea, okay? This is the, the thing, okay? So reaction could be different, but since we don't have time, we move on. So let's do some stuff on the first step. Reaction time, Gabor. So what I like to do with my players, Marta hates this one, I don't know why, but so I like this one. Very simple. You stay close, wide again, front. So what you're gonna do here is that you're gonna go fast and long first step, okay? I didn't mention yesterday, one of the, I mentioned many misconceptions in tennis, but one which is also popular is like, do many steps. Do many steps, you know, while preparing, you know, so, do many steps in terms of movement is from the baseline would be like and I hit. No, I want to cover the place in a few steps. So if the ball is there on the forehand side, I want to react one, two, three as if possible. And then in three, two, three, four steps, I'm there. Then I'm, use, I'm using a little steps, you know, adjustment steps to get to the ball, you know, better, but I don't want to have many steps. The great movement starts with the first step, and this is great drill for it, because here, what I want you to do is to go fast, fast, long. Then you go around the cone. So it's one, two, first step. One, two, bam. Bam, bam, bam. You stay wide and you go. You explode. Ready? You can start from this side. So you go uh, easy. You go there. You can go easy. Show me. Don't go too fast. Show me the steps. Hop. One, two. I want three steps. So one is long, like crossing, but then you go around. Okay? So we go together. Stay behind me. So I go one, okay, one, second, sorry, third. And I'm in the same position and I go the same here. Long, one, two, long. Show me. So this first one is very important. Here, from here, bam, react. 
go hop. Okay, give me the racket. Okay, now it's too complicated with the racket. This is another issue that I want to share with you, but let's do it without the racket. Go, go, hop. Yes, around. Yes, around. So around, go. So you go there. It's good. Go opposite. Yes, and then you around. One, two, three. You go. Bam. One, two, 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 bam. Okay. Complex movement. But what I want here is this. And this is something that I see many times on the court. Not using uh, 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 your arms. But the, the idea is to use your arms. So it's not like here. No. It's like hop. You react. Hop. You react. Hop. You go. Opposite arm, opposite foot. Come on. Show me. Like go. Like bam, 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 bam. Go. Fast. Hop. 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 Good. Okay. Esther, please. Show me. So, one, two, three. One, two, three, and then go. Without this extra step. So, only three. Go. So, you go fast. Sorry, 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 my fault. You go opposite foot. Sorry. So, you go wide. No, 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 no. Wide. You go slow. That's okay. You go left first. Bam. Then... This one here, this one here, and then you go you're a little bit more, so you have space, and then you go right. One, two, hop, one, two, hop, one, two, hop, one, two, hop, one, two, hop. Yes. Okay. Now we can work arms, we can work on the stance, but the idea is to get the feeling, you know, this reaction, you know, reaction from the ground, but also using the core. So I want to fix the core in order to move fast, okay? It's not the idea to work on this now, but here's another idea. I like this one. Also the first step, of course, you will see here, I'm trying now to get into the different areas, but of course, the reaction has the first you know, acceleration. Of course, the first step has the deceleration here. But my main focus now, is the first step. So you go wide, you go wide, and you try with just a few steps, one or two, to touch the line. So if you go here, you react, hop, one, hop, wide, hop, first step, touch, first step, touch, balance, upper body in the middle. Okay? Show me. Slow. Touch. One, two, touch. One, two. Come on. One, one, two, touch. One, two, touch. One, two, touch. Touch with the racket. Touch. Go. Stay low. One, two, touch. One, two, first step. One, two, hop. Good. Very good. Stop. Esther. So, the idea is to stay wide. Otherwise, you need a little more steps to get there. So, you just go one, two, touch, one, two, touch, one, two, touch, yes, one, two, touch, one, two, touch, first step, bam, 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 yes, good, very good, the best today. A little bit more, common drill, but let's see how we can use this drill, very simple one, to work on the specifics. So it's the acceleration, it's the first step, okay? Uh, go there. So you just go around the cones. So we're gonna do a lot of steps here. You just go around the, the, the cones and you do many steps in the middle, okay? So here, and then you go here, and then you go there, okay? But face that, that side, yes, okay, go. Okay. Yes. Thank you very much. So very common drill. Good? Yes, good, good drill. Frequency 
a lot of steps, adjustment steps, that's OK. But again, we don't have this move on the court. So the idea here is to go the same, but let's give him a little bit more space. So let's just do it this way. Let's see what happens here. You go the same. So you start, you can go from this, you know, you exit here, and then you go first there. What's the difference? Thank you so much. What's the difference? Huh? You saw the difference? It's, it's, I would say, you know, more specific, more, you know, quality here. Because instead of just going around, so many steps, good. But you see, without any tip, without any, you know, m m explanation, he was like, boom, boom. This is what we want to see. So let's now give the tip to Esther. So you do the same. You saw the movement. So I want you, when you exit the cone, I want you to push, to push, and to move as fast as possible. Because we want to have acceleration side, not always in front. So, so you go around, and then I want you to push outside leg, boom, explode towards the next cone. And push, yes, and push, and go, 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 push, yes. Okay. You go the same. You go wide, as wide as possible from here, and then react. Remember the force from yesterday. How much power you push, how much power, power you get there, the same you're gonna get back. So try to push hard and try not to stay too long on the, on the court, on the floor. Come on. Go, hop, and push, yes, and push, yes, and push, yes. Okay, Esther, come over here. We can add different things, the quality. So when you push, you go from down up, you go from down up, go there, fast. Okay, and push, you go down, and push, yes, yes, hop, and okay. Now she's holding the racket like this, that's okay. Esther, next time, would be here. I'm gonna start no racket, that's okay. And then we're gonna add more things. But what I'm now missing here is the split step. So, the same thing. You move around, you are wide, you push outside. But before pushing, you go up and push. So he's gonna go more low, and he's gonna give me a little bit more you know, acceleration to a lateral side. Come on. Go around. You up and go. Yes. Up. Yes. I like him. He's doing a good job. You see, without any tip, remember the story from yesterday. His jump was not here and then reaction. Because if he does this, he's losing all the power, all the energy. So I want to have my player, like, having the flow on the court. It's not stop and go, stop and go. No, flow, flow. So without any tip, he was like, bam. He was pushing outside leg and going first step with his left. Show me again. Look at this. So he was going around. Yes, he's around. He split step and pushing. Yes, up and boom. Yes, and boom. This is exactly what we want. Thank you so much. When we are talking about the split step. So uh, let's do this one. This was the nice introduction. Uh, so the split step. I don't think that that's, this is the particular topic that you, know, you only have split step drills. Yes, you have. But as you can see here, in every drill, whether we are working on the reaction, whether we are working on the acceleration, whether we are working on stopping is the split step that I want to, you know, to introduce to my players. So I want ha them to have the habit of going up and move, up and move, up and move as much as possible. But how we can work on the split, spe split step specifically? We have created one very app. I'm not a big fan of the, the technology, but sometimes we have to adapt to this, you know. We are working with the new millenniums, and they are like, you know, very, Mm, 
very much oriented towards the new technologies. Esther, maybe you next. So how it works, very simple. What we created, let's just show them. There are some lights going down without any you know, uh, direction. So when the thing is going down, you see, when it's going down, that's what counts. When we see the last red sign, when we see the last, I'm going to do it from here. So I'm ready, wide. It's getting there, 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 up. See, again, so it's going down. It's going down, 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 up. OK, just to get used to it. Now, in the next drill, after the last light, it's going to go the direction. So and it's the, you know, a little time between the last red sign and the direction. So I want them to go up to read the direction when they are on the top and to land on the opposite foot. But let's just do a few exercises with no direction. So Esther, you don't need a racket now. So let's try. Uh, maybe you stand a little bit on side so they can see the lights. Very simple. No, no, you face, you face this way. You go wide. When it goes down, now you go up. Yes. OK? It's going down and up. Let's try to find the timing. Very good, Esther. So you go, 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 go up. Yes. Let's go again. So it's going down. It's going down, 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 up. Too early. So I want you, when you see the last one, now up. OK? Let's see. It's going down, 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 up. OK, a little late. Little faster. Come on. It's going down, 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 up. Yes. OK? Show me. It's the same. Now you go without stopping. You just stay here, 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 up. OK? Show me. Up, 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 up. OK, don't go too fast. Da, 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 da. Up. OK? Come on. Go a little bit more faster. You go down, 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 up. Yes. Down, 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 down. OK, sorry, sorry. It's going down. Sorry. It's going down and up. OK, let's add. So now I'm going to put left. So, or we go right. Maybe it's easier for you. So it's the same thing. But after the last red, it goes right. And it's a little split between. So the idea is when they are up, to see where the color goes, where the sign goes, and then to react. The same concept as, as moving here. So it's like this. I'm going up and I'm going there. OK, up and there. So I don't want you to be like both feet down and then to react. I want to bah, flow, OK? You know that it's going to be right. So get ready, but don't, don't go too fast. Let's see. So and too fast, OK? OK, very good. You realize. Hop, and go. Yes. No, no, uh, very good. Go back. But try not to land on both. Try to go bam, 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 bam. No, OK, wait for it. Wait for it. So it's like uh, up and go. Very good. Go wide. So repeat. OK. Hey, wide. OK, very good. So you're going down, down, up, and good. Not, not bad, not bad. Just I don't want to, you, to be here. It's not bad, but please, show me this first step, what we are doing there, OK? Show me the first step towards me. Wait, don't rush. OK, now get ready. You're bouncing, 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 up and go. Yes, push outside. Once again, this was very good. I like it. Come on, go wide, go wide, go up and perfect timing. We can do also, I don't, uh, I'm not going to go here. We can put, you know, the phone here so we can add throwing the balls without the direction here. We throw the ball, they're looking for the sign. Many, you know, fancy stuff. But of course, technology is one thing. We can do on-course stuff working on the split step here. So, for example, we want, after the split step, this movement. So I want you to, to do, and then after you repeat after him, so you go only one jump. You go over the line and push. OK, show me the drill. Up and go, hop, push. Yes, go, Esther, come on, go. Come on, you bounce, bounce. You go up above the line, 
and then push with the left. Hop, good. But go for it. Come on, go for it. Go for the ball. Come on, hop and push. Yes, come on. Go and push. Okay, but you go. You go like you're gonna hit the shot there. So you don't stop, you go. You go a few steps. Come on, show me. Press and go. Okay, so the common mistake when working on a split step is this one. So look, look for the, this one, guys. So for example, doing this with one leg or even doing with the both legs, what I don't want them to do, for example, is in this drill, this is the tennis mistake. If we go, if we want to give the power from here, no, we don't want this. And the second mistake, usually it happens when we go with the, with the hurdles. So when I jump, doing like split step, first of all, I'm not going this high, right? But the second thing, I'm not so also doing this. So try to avoid the hurdles. If we go, we go with the lowest one. So we can do the same drill over the cones. So when I go first step, I go there, okay? Let's try. So don't try to do the movement from here. So you go wide, always wide. And the first step, remember the drill, is wide. Show me. So you, go, you can go one, one, uh, one leg. Go up. Okay, don't rush. Bam! Okay, show me. Again, come on. You go, and then you react. You go both. You go both feet. So when you jump, you just jump like this. But when you land, you go there. Okay? Try to push from outside leg. Show me the drill. Hop. Okay? Go again. Do not land on the both feet. Bam! So you are reacting on the ball. Yes. But try to go for it. Like you are hitting the ball. So try. When you land, you go for it. Okay? Try to do a few steps here. Hop. And go. Yes. Okay? Do a few steps more. Come on. And then you go. Hop. You go for it. Yes. Come on. You go for it. Okay? Don't do this with the leg. So you go wide always. You stay wide. Go there. Come on. Come on. Go. Go. No, no, no. I don't want to see this. Okay? Come on. Okay. We don't need maybe this. Too high for him. Much better. Much better. Come on. Okay. Go. Come on. Go for it. Yes. This is good. Push. Hop. Good. Come on. Go. This is what we want. Yes. Good. Okay. Couple more minutes. You know, doing the split step, many variations. Like hitting the ball, like for example, this one. Esther, take the racket. I just want you to get the idea of what we can do. Like, let's do one with the movement. So, Esther, you go on the, on the baseline. So, what you're going to do here, so you were like doing left. So, face this way. So, you're staying there. You're facing me. You're facing me. You're stay, staying wide. So, I'm going to give her a little time. Because you remember from yesterday, if I'm just throwing the balls, she's just not going to go, go up. So what I want you to do when I go back and when I throw the ball, so when I go back, you go up, I throw, you push outside leg and you sprint for the ball. So you sprint for the ball and you have to stop it. Okay? Let's see. You can take your racket. You can do it afterwards. So I'm giving you time. When I go back, you go up. OK? Ready? So I'm going back and hop. Go, 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 go. OK? But try to go fast and stop the ball. Maybe it's my fault too fast, but you got the idea. So I'm going back and hop. OK? So with the kids, we can, we can do different stuff like this, OK? So when I'm going. Back you up and then go. Yes, much better. Hop, 
Okay, but the idea is to stop here. That's fine. Give me the ball. So, come over here. Again, split step. You go wide, but leave the racket. Leave the racket on side. So, you just catch the ball. You just catch the ball, hop, but pushing, okay? So I'm gonna, it's gonna be without the bounce. So the same drill like what I did with the reaction, but I'm just giving him a little bit more time. So I go back and up, okay? When I go back, you go up, okay? So let's have, hop, yes, come on. Bounce, 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 hop, yes. So bounce, 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 hop, yes. Come on, bounce, 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 hop. Come on, bounce, 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 hop. Come on, bounce, 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 up. Come on, up, 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 bounce, 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 up, yes. Come on, come on, bounce, 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 up. Okay, I'm just giving him a little bit more time. Finally, deceleration thing. So, what you can do with the kids in terms of deceleration, and as I said, this is very important issue because if we pay too much attention on, you know, going and moving fast, it's gonna be a big, big problem. So what we can do here, let's use the ball like this. So you jump both feet up, you catch the ball and you land. So you go just up, wide, you go up, but again, we can add the split step. So I go here, hop, okay? Come on, ready and go, hop, go, come on, come on, more coordinated, come on. So you go up, jump, yes, but when you land, you find the perfect balance. So you go up, hop, land, yes. So you bounce, 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 up. So my fault, my fault. Come on, come on, let's do it. So you bounce, bounce, no, 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 no. You bounce, 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 up. Go down, okay. Bounce, 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 up. Yes, okay. Bounce, 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 up. And land, okay. Leave the racket, Esther. You go the same, both feet up. You don't have to bounce. You just jump, you catch and you land on a single leg, okay? Let's do it. Hop up, okay, you don't need to bounce. You just go up. So you go up, you go up, you catch, and you land, okay? Come on, you go up, no, you're going too, too fast. So wait for me. So the ball goes up, you are going up. You don't rush, okay? So you go up, okay, give me the ball. So throw me the ball, so I'm going Hop, and then I land, okay? So you try not to go too, too fast. You stay, you stay, you go up, now it's good. Yes, come on, let's repeat. You wait, you wait, you wait, you go up, and then you land, good, go. Come on, you wait, you go up, and you land on one leg. So don't rush, come on, jump, stay. Yes, come on, you jump, and you stay. Okay, you jump and you stay. Good, Esther. Another deceleration drill, this one. So, I want you to go fast over the hurdle with one leg up, you go, bam. Okay, so you go, bam, stay, hop. Not good, so I want you to go like fast and stay. Okay, try. Stay, no, 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 stay. I want you to have the perfect balance. So don't rush. I want you to stop. Yes, go. And stop. Stay, come on, go. Hop, stay. Yes, go, stay, hop. Go, stay. Yes, go, stay. Okay, a little bit out of balance, but this is good. Now you go crossover step. No, 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 okay, show him, show. Let's find the perfect balance, stop. Yes, use your arms, hop, use your arms, hop, yes, no, opposite arm, opposite, yes, come on, you go, hop, stay, come on, you go, stay, you go, stay, okay, now let's try crossover step, the same thing, but when you go, pop, pop, stay, you go wide, you go crossover step, and then bam, yes, come on, hop, stay, yes, hop, Stay, come on, hop, stay, wide, hop, stay. One more, very good. I like doing stuff with the resistant band. This is what I call the elastic deceleration. 
uh, just take your racket, that is going to be more specific. Just a few exercises. So I'm just going to put the band around. You face them there. Go a little bit front. Go a little bit front. So what I want you to do, so from the ready position, so you don't need to jump, you don't need to do anything. You just go for the shot, but you stop. So it's like, pam. You can go, pam. But I want you to stop, OK? And I'll give you a little resistance from here. So you go, come on, ready and explode. Bam, stay, OK? OK, I'm just giving her a little, you know, imbalance. So you try to be, you know, to fix the core and to stay, OK? Go there. Come on. And hop, stay, OK? Good. Come on, let's do it again. Come on, go fast. Hop, stay. Yes. Come on, go. You go right and stop. Yes. Go front step. You go forward. Hop. Yes, OK. A little bit, OK, without uh, too much sound. Go again. So try to do different things. Stay wide, open stance. Go close stance. You, you know, do a different things. And I'm going to go a little bit more resistance. Hop. Stay. Yes. Come on. Go. Yup. Yes. OK, go close stance. Come on. And hop. Yes. Go close stance. So you go like for the f that one, and then you go forward, OK? Come on. Go for it, and then hop. So when you go here, one more, OK? OK, ready? You go, and then hop, hop. OK, go again. Come on, go, hop. Yes. So what I'm also doing here, that's why I have like the thing here. Sometimes I put the rope here. We don't have time now. But they can do all the variations of a split step. So when they go up, they have a little bit imbalance. So it's not easy. They have a, uh, the band here. They are doing all the jumps here. But it's difficult because it's resistance here. So they can do a different stuff well, with a little resistance. And finally, the recovery step. I think you can add recovery in every exercise. So this one was just stopping. But of course, we would like to have player coming back. And remember, we had two main recovery steps. The crossover step, front crossover step. We have lateral crossover step. When we are using the front crossover step. Usually, when we're on the baseline, when we are recovering and we don't have time, we use this one. Or when we go forward and we want to, you know, to adjust to the ball. When we use this one on the court, usually when the ball is tough and I want to recover from there. But there are two options. And shuffle, it's like when we have a little bit more time. So it's a ball up, I have time and I'm recovering slowly. But the main idea is to teach the kids this crossover step because that's the most common movement on the tennis court. 11 o'clock. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much, Dario.